Mamas, Katie here from Crazy Fit Mama. Welcome back to another installment of 5 Minute Power Plays. We're doing one every day for the month of October. We're doing high intensity interval exercises, so we're going to be hitting it hard for 5 minutes and then you'll be done and you can go on about your day, but your heart rate's going to stay elevated. You're going to continue burning calories throughout the rest of the day because of this high intensity exercise that you've done. Make sure to add this in with your regular routine. Maybe you spend time on a treadmill or an elliptical. Maybe you chase your kids around the playground or take a walk with the dog after dinner. But whatever it is, make sure that you're moving your body for at least 30 minutes a day in addition to this five minute power play so that you can get optimal results uh, from your fitness routine. So I'm going to start the timer and we'll go ahead and begin. Alright, we're going to do four exercises, 60 seconds a piece with a small break in between. We're going to start out with high knees. So if you need to, you can do a walking high knee. But if you have the ability, I want you to take that intensity up. Alright, give yourself a target. You can have flat hands, you can have this, whatever works for you. But I want you to Get the knees up, get them high. Land soft. Don't stomp down on the ground. That's not good for your joints. But you should be moving. Your heart rate's going up. Your breathing rate is going up. You hear me? My sentences are getting shorter. This is the intensity level that you want to have. Doing a great job. We're over halfway. Keep them up. Keep those knees high. Nice and high. Keep the targets there. Your knees are going to start to lower as you get tired. Keep those targets up. And rest. Woo! Great job. Alright, we're going to come down to the ground, to our mat, to our soft surface. We're doing a superman, or superwoman, whatever. Arms are out, legs are straight. We're gonna raise them both up. This will give you a chance to catch your breath, but your back is turned on, your legs are turned on, your glutes are turned on. Your whole posterior chain, your whole back, the back of your body is working. If you have shoulder issues, you can come back like this. Keep your chest high. Try and keep your chest off the ground. Your lower ribs are touching. Your hips are touching. Get your legs up. Get your arms up and your shoulders. Squeeze that glute. This is a chance to recover your breath before we move into our next exercise. And done. Awesome. Awesome work. Come on back up to your feet. This time we're doing a jump squat. All right. Your intention is to launch off the ground and then land softly. So we're in a squat and we're jumping up and jumping up. Use your arms as momentum. Land soft. Land on the ball of your feet, not on your heels. Let your heels touch last. Speed it up if you can. If you can't jump, extend. That works too. Extend. You can use your arms to get up higher. Make sure the arms are moving, the legs are moving, your quads are on fire. Mine are too. Nice, soft landing. Doing great, doing great. 15 seconds. You got it. You send those quads to the edge, to the edge of their ability level. Two, one, and done. Woo, yeah. All right, back to the mat. On your back this time, feet are in, close to your butt. Arms are down. We're going to drive those hips to the sky. Drive them up. Your hamstrings are turned on. Your glutes are turned on. You're driving your hips up. 
The weight should be in your shoulders, not in your neck. Make sure your shoulders are still on the ground. Oh, I'm still breathing from those squats. Driving the hips up. Don't let the knees fall out. Don't let them fall in. Nice and parallel with your hips. You need an extra challenge? Raise a leg. Excellent. Excellent work. If you've got a leg up, go ahead and switch it. Keep driving those hips up to the ceiling. They're starting to sag. You're almost done. And done. Whew. All right. Excellent work. Nice job. Five minutes. High intensity. Heavy work. Heavy workload means that you're burning calories for a longer period of time afterwards. These intervals, they'll do it for you. Make sure that you're making good choices with your food. Make sure that you're moving your body anytime you have the opportunity. My name's Katie with Crazy Fit Mama. Please make sure to subscribe so you can receive all of our videos. We're doing one every, every day for the month of October for our Power Play Challenge. I will provide good quality content, answering your questions, and helping you on your journey to crazy fit, ongoing for October and beyond. Thanks and have a great day.